Taurus, um, welcome. This is the Aries business reading for um, the Aries season. The Aries season begins from March 21st until April 19th. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, please remember to like and share. Welcome newcomers. Remember to subscribe. All right, this Aries season for you, Taurus, is, 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 is as if it is awakening you um, for you to move into your own season. Now, this Aries season is about uh, things, it's about the Mars energy. And the Mars energy is about changes, okay? Taurus is whatever is happening at work and in business in this uh, in this period, um, a whole lot is going to be coming out. Some sort of a secrecy of a cancer is going to be coming out. A cancer had a whole lot of secrets. And I see that a cancer wanted some sort of a new start. But I see you're not going to be helping this cancer, um, Taurus, because you recognize uh, um, that this, uh, this cancer... Whoever this cancer man is, whether it's your boss, supervisor, whoever this cancer man is, wanted some sort of a new start, but it's not going to be happening, okay? So I don't know if it's someone who asks you um, for a job or asks you for some sort of a reference. Uh, whoever this cancer man, there's a lot of secrets. So you are dealing with a cancer man. A majority of you are dealing with a cancer man. So you have to be aware of this. Majority of you are going to be dealing with a cancer man. And whoever this cancer man is, one, it's some sort of a new offer, but I see that you Tauruses are not going to be helping this cancer man because it's as if you feel as if this cancer man has a, um, not been upright and upfront with you in the past. So, um, I don't know if it's, um, they wanted to change position. They wanted to move up the ladder, whatever it is and whatever is transpiring. Some, some, the undesirable thing, thing, that a cancer man has done some sort of a secrecy but the majority of you is a cancer man majority of you it's a pisces cancer or scorpion but whoever the pisces cancer or scorpion person is have some sort of a secrecy and whatever this person's secret is so um could be coming out all right so be aware of this it could be a supervisor but it's coming up as someone a co-worker so you got to be aware of a co-worker a man that is a Pisces Cancer a Scorpion. This man could have some sort of a secret. So now as we look at your energy, all of your energies are in the reverse for this Aries season. And even going, um, this Aries season is showing up all of your energies in reverse. And we're going to be breaking down them week by week. The first week of the 21st until the 28th, what we have, um, we have the energy of the moon in reverse. So um, in this week, whenever the energy of the moon is, is in reverse, is, is, is things that was uh, not revealed is going to be revealed. So let's see the energy of uh, illusion. Illusion. There was some sort of an illusion, what a scorpion and a Pisces was created. So this is what I said. A Pisces and a scorpion was creating some sort of an illusion, okay, around you at the workplace, in business, whoever these people are, the energy of the moon is about illusion, it's about people pretending and creating a smoke screen, and you're going to be recognizing that a lot of people was actually um, creating smoke screens around you, and they had a scorpion and a Pisces that was creating some sort of a um, smoke screen. And, you know, Scorpions and Pisces, because they are, Scorpion is ruled by Pluto, um, and uh, the um, Pisces is ruled by Neptune, always creating these sort of a smoke screen around people. You know, you, you don't really know where you are with these people. It's as if uh, um, they're in a illusionary states, and they're creating illusionary around you also. So these are co-workers um, um, that has been not... Uh, um, yeah, it's not really for up for for it, right? It, these are people who um, create illusions because they're water people. So what they do is that they give you a sense of everything is okay, but it's not really okay. All right, they they they, they pretend as if everything is good, but it's not really okay. And I see some of you are going to be um, thinking, you know, I don't really need this because I. 
ask you know if uh, um, you have done certain things and now I'm recognizing um, that they weren't done and you were like Jesus so you know why didn't you just tell me that you could not uh, um, do whatever I've asked you to do so a lot of you are going to be like very upset and you're dealing with the scorpions and the Pisces okay could be other people but um, the illusion state is always about the scorpion and the Pisces so um, there we see that man and I said a Pisces Cancer a Scorpion and a Cancer Man. Um, so you're, you're going to be recognizing that uh, now you're going to be seeing the truth. It's as if they have wear a mask, okay? Illusory is about wearing a mask and pretending that something is not what it is. And now if this mask is going to be open, now this mask, you're seeing through this mask. So I see Scorpion in Pisces. So where a scorpion and a Pisces could have been creating some sort of illusion around you. And now you're being released. And now it is open because you recognize that these people um, give you some sort of an illusionary steer or create some sort of an illusion around you where you could not see clearly. So this is going to be good that you're going to be recognizing this. And it's better that you recognize it and it comes out instead of you are kept um, in an illusionary state. Okay. All right, let's move on to the second week. The week is from the 29th until the 4th. And in this week, we're dealing with uh, um, uh, the, the, the fire of water, fire of water. So this fire of water, and this is what I said, you know, is a situation. Don't trust a, a scorpion or a Pisces. Whatever is happening, don't trust a scorpion or a Pisces. Um, and a lot of you could be recognizing that a scorpion and a Pisces had kept you in some sort of an illusion. And it's going to be a Pisces, Cancer, or a scorpion had kept you in some sort of an illusion. And now it's as if everything is coming out. It's as if some of you are recognizing that a Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, or a scorpion person is not really who they said they are. Or they don't have the proper skills and knowledge. Okay? So it is as if this person kept you on the control and 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 give you some sort it's as if you had applied for this person um um someone applied for a job you see their um skills and expertise and that sort of a thing that you took them on and then you're recognizing that they can't provide what they say they don't have the skill and knowledge what they say what is on the, their CV. So they kept you in illusion because you choose that person because you think that that person has the capacity to do the work that you want, but you're going to be recognizing that they had basically kept you in an illusion. So it's as if in the week of the, the 29th until the 4th, you're going to be recognizing that this person have, you know, um, you know, got in um, you have choose this person, they've gotten him, but they don't have the expertise that they say they have that is on paper. Um, you know, in the practice, in the proctite, there is, there can't show up, um, you know, their skills and knowledge that they say that they have, and you're recognizing this. So I see a lot of you are going to be thinking as you move to the second, uh, the third week, which is the week of the fifth until the 11th. The week of the 5th until the 11th, um, there's going to be Mars in Aries. So I see someone um, could be fired um, because it is in the, up, the reverse. So I see some of you could be firing and getting rid. So it's um, the 5th on, um, until the 11th. And I see that someone could be fired because whoever the spicy scans or scorpion man is, um, Create an illusion around you to make things look as if, uh, you know, what they weren't. And Mars in Aries is about uh, um, a tower moment. Mars in Aries is about a tower moment. Mars in Aries is about um, an end because the offer, um, an offer was there on the table, but it is no longer there. For a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person, for whatever reason, is as if uh, um, you Tauruses uh, kind of felt as if uh, you know what they show you that they the expert and skills and knowledge that they have is not what you're seeing in the practice, and 
you're going to be thinking of the um, ending this person contract. Yeah, you're going to be thinking about ending this person contract and look for someone new. So some sort of an offer, um, someone, whoever this person is, because it doesn't have to be um, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person, but um, someone, it could be an Aries that you're going to be fired. Um, yes, it could be an Aries that some of you are going to be fired or an Aries that... Uh, you had, a, had a, some sort of a contract open, some sort of a contract or business deal that you had um, with an Aries or a, a job offer that you had for an Aries. You're no longer going to be given this Aries or you're no longer going to be given the spicy scans or scorpion or you're no longer going to be given this person because you recognize that they kept you in some sort of an illusion. So it could be a situation where some of you... I always apply for a job and you recognize that the person, that position that they apply from, they have no experience over that position. And I see that you're going to be deciding to let them go in the third week. All right. In the fourth week, we have the six of pentacles, the six of pentacles. And that is the moon in Taurus, the moon in Taurus. And it is open. All right, the moon in Taurus, it's about, uh, um, you know, secrecy around uh, money, okay, secrecy. So let's say that some people got a raise of pay and you didn't get a raise of pay, all right? So the moon, remember that the moon is about illusion, okay, an illusion around money. Um, you could, um, you know, um, send a... Um, position out and you put an, um, uh, a price per hour or per month or per week. But then when you apply for the job, you recognize that they want to give you less or they're starting you off on that. And that is what is going to be, you know, for the rest of the time that you're there. So there is illusion around your salary, illusion around your money, illusion around your pay. Whatever is happening in Transpire, there's a lot of illusion that is going on around a whole lot of money. And it's like people are creating illusions around your financial stability. So you've got to be aware of the stars. And it could have to do with the Aries, whoever this Aries is. And now it's as if you're finding out, okay? So let's say that you were supposed, everyone else got raised a salary, but you didn't get a raise a salary. Everyone else had a performance review and they got a raise of salary, but you didn't get a raise of salary. And then you're going to be recognizing some sort of an illusion and that is created about around money. So you got to understand what is happening and transpire. So these are many examples of illusions around money. Some of you are going to be recognized that their accountant has never um, paid the taxes. Some of you are going to be recognizing that their accountant had kept back um, information um, and never call up the clients that hold and, and, and is supposed to be paid. You know, you know, they kept you in an illusionary state about the financial stability of your company and how, what was going on. So it is as if someone held back on, um, um, it could be a situation that you have a business partner, your business partner, I held back and let you put all this money in a business or a project and they didn't have the money. And you would, you know, Aries people are like that. They will speak to you and, you know, uh, really um, give you some sort of a sweet word, let you invest. And then they know that they really don't have the money and then you invest. And then at the end of the day, um, you're the one who is caught up in this. So, so there's something about some sort of an illusionary and it's as if someone needs to pay you and they're going around and so the debt, debt, debt collectors, that sort of a thing is playing some sort of a game. And that is like illusory. You know, they hold you. They're supposed to pay you a month ago. They never pay you. So that sort of an illusion is going to be coming out. And it's as if you Tauruses are going to be recognizing that an Aries and a, a cancer man have kept you in some sort of an illusion, um, 
with some sort of a business contract for a very long time or with, um, you know, pulling the wool over. This is about pulling the wool over your face uh, um, where every time the payment to date is being extended and extended and extended. So use the link below in order to know how to deal with the situation. I got to go. I do love you. And when you use the link below to see the symbols and choose one of your symbol, choose the one that is going to bring you to the new direction. Okay. Um, please remember to thumbs up. I got to go. Namaste.